Hi, boys and girls. This week, um, grade two and three can try this. Even kindergarten and first grade can follow along if you have um, a sibling. We went out and we found some leaves. Um, you might want to get an oak leaf or a maple leaf. You might find a leaf like this one here. It's more of an oval. All right, so just find some different leaves. We're going to do a leaf print using either a black crayon or a darker color, maybe purple. This one was done in purple. You could use blue or orange, uh, not orange, I'm sorry, brown. Blue, purple, brown, or black. All right, want a darker color or a cool color. So this one, I used the purple. And what we did is we did the leaf rubbing first, then we used warm colors for our leaves, so yellow, orange, and red, and a watercolor or a liquid watercolor. And you can make liquid watercolors with old markers and put them in a bottle of water and add a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and that will prevent it from getting moldy. And you've got a whole bottle of liquid watercolors. So um, let's get started with the leaf print first using a crayon. I have black. So after you go out and you find your leaves, you want to make sure that the back of the leaf is facing front so you can feel this vein. So I'm going to put my leaves under my paper. I'm going to put all three under right now. Let's see. I'm going to do three at once. You, this one doesn't feel like it has much to rub, but we'll find out. So put this on top and using the long edge, we don't want to use the tip, okay? I use the side of it. You're just going to push down and just get this nice print of your leaf. So let me just get this one in and I'm going to see where this one is. Oh, it did work. Look at that. And we have one more over here. So you can put, you can do these one at a time if you want. I just decided I was going to put them all under at once. So once you have your leaf rubbing in, let's move this out of the way you're going to use your warm colors. I'm going to use these today, the um, temper cakes, but you can use watercolor, or if you have paint, you might want to water it down. So I'm going to start by using some warm colors in my leaf. I'm going to keep this very watery so my colors will mix together. I'll put a little red in here. Let's see the colors mixing together. Maybe I can add a little orange. And then you decide when you look at it, maybe you want to add a little more red into it or you want to change the color up. So that one has more yellow. So let's maybe do this with a little more red and orange. So first I put the orange in and I'm gonna just go along these veins Let's get that red. And I'm trying to just stay in the leaf petals. Now you can go darker by using less water. All right, let's see. So if you want, you can let it dry and go back and add a little more color. You can also, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. You can also go back when this is dry and use your crayons and add a little more detail with the color. I'm gonna skip this one here. The background, what you're going to do is use, that's too dark, so I'm gonna get more water. You're just going to go all around your leaves, and then these leaves will really begin to pop. 
So you go all around, go slowly. If it's too dark, add more water. Now I'm gonna add a little touch of purple in here too. Mixing my cool colors all around my leaves. So go ahead and paint yours and don't forget to upload it so I can take a peek and see what you are doing. I'd love to see your artwork. You um, can also send it by email if you don't know how to upload it on the Google Classroom. Or if you're not on Google Classroom, you can always send it to me through email or um, post it on Twitter. Have your parents do that. Okay. All right. Have fun. I can't wait to see them. I'm going to finish this one up.